Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hello, hi, I'm Noah. I'm gonna watch The Boys Season 4, Episode 7. If you want to see all of my reaction videos about all of the episodes of The Boys, the first season, you know, like this new Season 4, you can have all of my reaction videos on the link for the playlist, you know, that I made for the boys and you're gonna have all of the episodes, all of the videos into the chronological order. If you can be interested, I made reaction videos, you know, longer ones also for my Patreon and from now on and since in fact the previous episode, all of my reaction videos for the boys are available on my Patreon with two versions. For the level 2 it's a longer version and for the level 3 it's the full version of it, you know, the full reaction part. In case you can be interested to have that advantage, to have a longer reaction part and also to have it sooner, I'm publishing it, you know, on YouTube on Monday when for Patreon they have it on Friday, like really four days earlier. In case you can be interested to have this advantage and to support this girl right there, like right now, because uh, you know I'm a little reactor on YouTube and on Patreon, it's not enough clearly and I need to begin a second activity into my personal life but to help me a little at the beginning I opened a crowdfunding and if you guys you want to support me you can participate to it and if you want something in exchange maybe just subscribe to my Patreon and you're gonna have these advantages you know that I just mentioned. Oh and I'm seeing it also each time now Think about it if you want to support me, like if you're thinking about staying with me for a long time on Patreon, think about it if you're subscribing for the entire year, you have one month offered. Maybe it can be a good deal, you know, for you guys. Just saying. Okay, guys, <laughs> let's go for this episode of The Boys now that we had the confirmation that Johnny Gunn doesn't exist died a long time ago in fact and right now it's Butcher subconscious using him, using him as an image like really to represent his evil side. If Becca is representing his angelic side, Nick and Joe is representing his devil side and I noticed it before I made that theory a long time ago about that, you know, about the fact that he didn't exist because we didn't see him interacting with anyone because he was only there when Butcher was talking bad about his team, you know, something bad happened with the team and the guy was only pushing him to do stuff on his own and to do bad stuff and really that thing about, oh, remember when you saved me? No, no, no. I know my Butcher. I know the big issue that he has, you know, with feeling guilty about people that he loved getting killed, not being able to save them, more something like that. So clearly I knew that it was the case also right there for Johnny Gunn and it was confirmed, meaning that he's truly losing his mind and now that he knows it, how much he's losing his mind and the fact that Johnny Gunn is not real and can also take control of his body because we can't forget that it's Johnny Gunn, that version of Butcher, his evil side who killed for real Ezekiel. So what Butcher is gonna decide to do with that information, that's gonna be interesting. Like he still has two episodes to finish this season to do something about it, maybe do something great about it. At first, you know, I thought that that reveal we would have it only at the end of the season, meaning that Butcher wouldn't have the time to maybe understand how bad it is and all and to do even more stuff, more bad stuff before that. Now I'm like, ah, maybe two episodes, it can be enough for Butcher to understand things. We'll see about it. No matter what, right now the situation is awful with the fact that he kidnapped a guy, he cut his leg to force him to make that drug. He knows now that using that drug would mean to commit a genocide against all heroes, not just the villain heroes, but really all heroes, all people with powers. And Johnny Gunn was like, ah, oh, no, that's okay, uh, at least we're gonna kill Amlander and 
a lot of threats like that but also a lot of innocent people so yes that's gonna be interesting to see what butcher is gonna do right now i don't want to talk again about ue scenes during the previous episode i understood that that new character i can't remember his name the sadomasochist guy the number two the official number two the fact that this guy was into Gen V. I didn't watch Gen V. I would love to watch it, but really currently into my schedule, I have so many things already that uh, I'm watching, like, you know, Vinland Saga, My Hero Academia, Twin Peaks, House of the Dragons, The Boys. Not so long ago, I had Demon Slayer. Soon, I'm gonna need to catch up on Vikings Valhalla, the final season, which is out today, in fact, and me, I'm gonna need more time to watch it. Also, soon we're gonna have the Rings of Power. Like, I'm thinking about watching and reacting to Gen V, but I can't tell you when and if truly it's gonna happen. I prefer to not make promise that I'm not gonna keep. That's something with me. When I'm deciding to react to something, when you're seeing one video about something, you can be sure that I'm gonna react at least to the entire season and maybe even more, you know, maybe really the entire show or anime. So I prefer to not announce something that I'm not gonna do. I'm not like that. I'm not teasing stuff, you know, for no reason. So yes, you seen during the previous episode. Let's not talk about it anymore. Even if I talked about it with one of you guys on the comments about the fact that it was truly disturbing and shocking. And it has been the second time now that no, even more, the third time now that during this season they are doing something sexual without people being willingly involved into it. Like, uh, I don't know how to say it in another way. For you, it seems before that, that guy that uh, was forced to masturbate himself in front of Homelander. Before that, when Homelander talked to Atrian and Deep, you know, to have that sexual sing in front of everyone like I have the impression that it's a running gag if I can say it like that into the boys into this season and it's beginning to bother me a little we are used to have sexual jokes into the boys but right there the fact that it's involving people who doesn't want to do it who are forced to do it because of the pressure of someone who has control on the situation again three times now into the same season I think that it's enough, let's not do that again, please. During this episode I want to have news about Frenchy, what is gonna happen to him. I want for him to meet Kimiko, the silent treatment, it's not okay at all! I'm not okay at all with it. And yes, we'll see for the rest of all of the narrative arcs how it's gonna be. I'm really interested by Starlight during this season, by Our Evolution during this season. I repeated it at multiple occasions and I would want something more for her for this episode. And clearly we need to keep an eye on Armlander with everything that the guy is doing, with the fact that he managed to manipulate Ryan for Ryan to do something like that. Ugh. I'm afraid, I'm afraid that if at some point Butcher is coming back to reason and is presenting himself in front of Ryan trying to convince him to, to go with him, he's not, gonna, he's not gonna do it just because it's gonna be too late. Ryan is gonna be already all on Amanda's side. We'll see about it. Sage also, during the previous episode, I was so afraid for her to discover that a train is helping us. That's really a big deal, you know, the situation with a train during this season, the fact that he's helping us, but not fully, like he's still a little like, no, I don't want to do it, but he's doing it. But he has to be careful to not be discovered, to be a true spy for us. But during the previous episode, we had that moment with him saving someone and a kid watching him doing so and having a big smile, so a train you know, he remembered what it is to really save people and to be recognized for that, to be a true hero. I hope that it's gonna have a, an impact on him, a good impact. It would be great. But really, A Train Evolution is really the, the parallel narrative arc that we have since two seasons now. And we are progressing really just little by little with him. 
but each baby step is so important in fact and is building really something with his character at some point we're gonna have something real you know and something big happening with him maybe at the end of this season no matter what you know i think that it's pretty interesting to keep an eye on a train also on what we are doing with him okay i'm gonna stop this intro right now let's go for this episode like i told you if you want on my patreon you can have these reaction videos for the boys earlier with four days of advance and you can have a longer reaction part with the level two and the full reaction part with the level three it's the best way to support this girl to to be sure that i'm going to continue to make these reaction videos you can support me on my Patreon for one month, for more than one month. If it's for one year, you're gonna have one month of help. And if you don't want anything in exchange, you can still support me and you have the link to my crowdfunding, you know, that I'm organizing during one month, which is in fact my tip page, but I'm giving you updates about it because it's a crowdfunding situation during this month. You have all of the links into the description. Let's go for this episode. Ah yes, it's a Christmas episode. I saw that really quick on, on Twitter. You know that I'm avoiding spoilers like hell, but I saw it that it was the Christmas episode, normally. Not a long face. Antifa. Yeah! It's a word for people who hate superheroes and America even more than... Antifa? Anti-fascist. Okay, you're saying people to be snitched. Uh -huh. Can you lick his ass harder than that? Some things might happen to him. What do you mean? What, what kind of things? It's better you don't know. They kicked me out of the Tuesday Bible group. That is not how oh, you. Well, I heard Shelly was. How the heck did Donna raise that? Okay, just You're gonna blame her? For... She would have an abortion. Oh, I felt it coming. You're it's so awful. Have to a higher standard. That's how I raised you. That is none of your business. And it sure as fuck isn't Shelly. You're so oh, you're by the group. Super I'm a person. None of that starlight shit matters. And why did Huey save the suit? How does she know? That's so fuck. I pulled it from the trash. I mean, I thought you might regret tossing it somewhere. I don't even like looking at it. <laughs> I think that it's great that he kept it because I talked about it since the episode one. Her story for this season is to accept the fact that she's not bring a baby into a world that's ending. You don't have to justify yourself for that. It's just all too much. I mean, there are so many fucking dumpster fires. Where do we even start? Just take it step by step. You smell like you've been cleaning. Oh, my God, he's asking you to do your fucking job. You know what? You know what I think is going to be early, Harvey? That's what Adrian says. I say we visit him too. I think that Sage is so clever that maybe she trapped you with that. You remember Newman's daily department virus plug? Dr. Samir Shah? I'm serious, Butcher. Don't. Do. Funny story. Tell them. Turns out he ain't that dead. He's been working for me. I need some more of that virus. All they found was... God damn it, you Did you cut off his leg? Yes. Oh, you have been amputating motherfuckers while working on a secret bioweapon. And we're the ones that's supposed to chill. You're pissing away our best shot. We 
can't make it deadly enough to stop home then without causing a, you know, global pandemic. Genocide. Jesus. Even for you. Which is what I'm fucking telling you, isn't it? You think I want that much blood on my hands? You do. You want to fucking swim in it. No, I don't. So to keep the butt from burning for you lot, like wildfire. Oh, we need to I warn our view to not see what's happening with you. you know? Ah, here he is. Speak of the devil. You're out? Bonjour. I am Mallory. Pull a few strings. Just to be clear, this was against my will. Yes, you wanted to be punished. French rule out sort of virus. We use it on our uh -huh. own. That's it. No one else. Do not forget who you are, Brian. Okay, man. Take this as ten thousand dollars cash. The rest of my accounts. Give, 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 give. <laughs> I'm sorry. Something big's about to go down. If we lose, she's gonna get crazy. If we win, she's gonna get even crazy. So either way, y'all got to go. But I got one fucking job to do, and that's to keep you and Janine safe. And I'll be damned if I let any of this fucking. Sh Unexpected and sweet. Come with us. I believe you. You did all this. I... You know it's for a good reason. I'm sure it's even worse than I'm imagining. So let's go. The three of us. Let's call me a family. You can't. You would love that, but you can't. You're gonna be mad at him because he can't. The silent treatment is stubborn, prick. I am done fucking around with you. See, I know you don't care about Starlight or Kamiko. He not cares. Ryan. He's not even yours. And for sure, Ryan. So tell me, what justifies the faith in the kid? I gave him my word. Becca? Really? If your love is so perfect and pure, then why'd you fuck that waitress? Absolutely. You know, you keep saying that you're doing all this to honor Becca's memory. Never did that when she was alive. You're torturing yourself through me. Guys, secret service files. GTL summons for January 6th. What? Why do I think that it's a trap? It's a map of the DC fairgrounds where Singer's having his rally. I swear they've given him the old Daily Plaza. Ben was right. Sage wouldn't notice someone following her, taking pictures of her like that. Everything. 
pretty sure that it's not a train inside. No, he's gonna kill you if he thinks that it's you. How much can you produce, you know, like? It's not turning you on. I'm surprised with uh, how mad you can be, but maybe you right there. You finally understood the situation? So Who you're talking with? I missed you. Yes! I was ashamed. Not just not. And you know why I had to turn myself in? Yes, she can! You watch your new life kill your parents, your brother told me. What's the book that's for Adam? Yeah, I'm going to tell you. I'm Because you killed her as a kid without making any sound, after that you never spoke again? You should not hate yourself. Mira! Same! Uh -huh. 